Oh, hello, and welcome to National Post Maker Nation, a look at notable Canadian inventions. Hey, here's something Canadians didn't invent, the Caesar. That's right, you've probably heard about how it was invented in the 1960s at a Calgary hotel bar. But as Canadian's drink writer Adam McDowell discovered in 2010, spiced clam and tomato cocktails actually have their origins in the 1880s United States. They just call them clam diggers there. But here's something Canada did invent, peanut butter. You probably thought George Washington Carver invented peanut butter, didn't you? Carver was known as the peanut man for inventing up to 300 uses for peanuts, including his axle grease or printer's ink. He even tried to cure polio with peanut massages didn't work. But Carver cannot claim credit for the emperor of all peanut inventions. Instead, that credit goes to this guy, a Canadian with the extremely 19th century name of Marcellus Gilmore Edson. Little is known of Edson other than that he worked as a druggist and lived in Montreal, a city miles from the nearest peanut field. But peanut historians have determined that in 1884, Edson was the first to file a patent for what we would now know as peanut butter. And here it is. United States Patent 306727. Be it known that I, Marcellus Gilmore Edson of the City of Montreal, have invented new and useful improvements in the manufacture of peanut candy. Now, if you take roasted peanuts and put them in a grinding mill, all you're going to get is peanut flour. But what Edson figured out is that if you heat the mill up, the peanuts will instead turn into a delicious, gooey paste. You may be drafting an angry email right now to point out that indigenous South Americans have been eating a kind of mashed peanut dish for centuries. But it was Edson who cracked the code of how to bring peanut butter to the masses. This peanut butter, like all peanut butter, was created by the Edson method of running it through a heated grinding mill. And Edson just wanted to put his invention in candy. He could not have foreseen a world where we would smear it on toast, use it to remove gum from hair, or just eat it straight from the jar after a divorce. And that's why, to this day, Canadians continue to honor Edson's legacy by feverishly banning peanut butter from our schools.